we are going to have a array of colliders. It's called colliders equal physics dot overlap sphere. And we are going to tell it where is the center of the sphere, which will be world position, and the radius, which will be node size divided by two, because it's the radius, not the not the diameter. Okay, so what is this? Well, it summons an invisible sphere and check if it is colliding with anything. In this case, it can collide with the agents, it can collide with the ground, and it can collide with the obstacles. So, it is not a good idea to just get that collider and say, okay, it collided with something, therefore there is no way to pass through this path. We need to check something here. Oh, we actually need a for each collider, co in colliders. If, and my idea is to use something that all of our obstacles have in common. In this case, it's the obstacle holder. So if the co transform parent is the same as the obstacle holder, then we are going to print here obstacle at Dialogic word position. Opa. Forgot the plus here. And while we are at it, the move cost should go to max value. So this path is never used. Okay, let's test that. Play. Let's create a cube, turn off the box collider, and let's check for the obstacle. So, negative 50 and negative 50. Opa, I forgot you. <laughs> I actually dragged the, the obstacle holder here. Okay. Something that sometimes is, is done would be to use the tag here. So you tag this as a as an obstacle. But I'm going to compare the transform itself. Okay, so same thing, let's create a cube, no box collider, negative forty and negative six. Okay, let's go there. And it's touching the wall or a bit too close to the wall. So, negative 40 and negative 2. Same thing here. Well, as you can see, this is based on the... Let me turn the... This on here. It is based on the nodes being too close to the wall here. If this wall was a bit thinner, or if we actually had more nodes, this would be a bit more precise. Let me show an example of that. Let's change this to 1. Also, don't forget to change here to 50-50. I forgot that. <laughs> okay, so... I think we can turn this off. Cube. No box collider. Negative 41. Negative 41. 0. And negative one. Alright, so you can see that our precision became much better because our grid, our mesh, is much better. And six... Six. Because it's touching there. So I think having it as one it's probably much better because you have more details. This has a price, right?